White. Today we're going to go look at a 1962 Tweed Fender Champ. Now some guy called me on the phone and said it belonged to Eric Clapton. His dad worked for him in the 70s and traded him for some dope for a Stratocaster and two Champs. This has been kept in a case for 30 years in a glass case. Supposedly it's in mint condition. We're going to go meet him on the side of the road by Pioneer Town. I can't plug it in. He wants to do a straight trade for another amp, like a 100 watt head, a Marshall. So uh, the champs is not getting it for him. Not enough, you know. So today we're going to go take a look at it. So let's go. this dirt road is where I'm supposed to meet him off this dirt road and get this amp that belonged to Eric Clapton and uh, I guess the story was his dad worked for uh, Eric Clapton for many years on the road crew at some point they said many times Clapton had to be like propped up he was so wasted on heroin they couldn't even believe that he could play the guitar uh, that's the story anyway and then he traded him a Stratocaster and two Fender Champs, Tweed ones, for some dope. Because he was jonesing. Anyway, it's exciting. Yeah! All this for, for tone. Look look what we're doing for tone. We're going out where, where there's aliens and, and all kinds of weird stuff. live from Joshua Tree, California, where all the spirits are and the entities that he talked about, which Parsons is up here floating around, the Rolling Stones on the Sacred Mountain, Led Zeppelin, <clears throat> everybody. And so know. how did he come to get the amp and the guitar? Uh, they were making deals and hooked him up. He was sick, got stuff for him, gave him the amp. He was sick, real, mean he was Jones? Yeah, he was, he was real heroin. sick at the time. You got to have your stuff now. You're going to die. That stuff will kill you. will get a heart attack. So, like he, brand new. He kept that on the road with him. Yeah, he had a few of them, mm -hmm. and the one was in the. We had a, a, a case with with them in, in him. So he had this one. The other one was in a big black 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 box that he put it in. He runs the preamps and comes out of the thing, goes into the other amp, preamps it for the tone. 1962 Fender Tweed Champ. And so that thing has spent the last what? How long in a glass case? It was thirty some years. Yeah. Alright. So who it's supposed to go to? Tim. Okay. With love. Thank you. That's sweet. There it is. Now his wife says, oh, he's just a guy talking out on the mountain. Yeah, he's a guy talking on the mountain. And now we're on video and now it's in your head. And you'll go home and say, honey, I'm home. Right. <laughs> I got my lunchbox. My lunchbox. So yeah, there it is. Lunchbox full Dinner's tone. served. Great, Look great. at the knob. Look at the chrome. Get up. Get a picture of that. It says, it looks like it came out of the store. It's shiny. It has the letters. Look at the knob. It's gonna be touched. You'll never see another one like that. This is it. You have to talk to the the amp guru, Tim. Yeah, everybody's up here. We're all together. I'm here. I came to the desert. Lived in the field for a year and a half. And I told God, Hey, keep your promise to me. You know, I'm a human. That's all. But I'm here. I haven't forgotten you. That he wants to be remembered. Remember my miracles? I like his yeah. So shall it be. Well said. Very nice. Okay, so I got the amp. So apparently, uh, there's a small mod in it that uh, allows you to run that as a preamp and run it out to another amp. There's a little, uh, some sort of little transformer or something down in there. And you plug out of the second input and it goes into this little thing and then goes out to another amp. Suppose, and then there's a name that says Terry written on the inside. Apparently that's the guy that did the mod for Eric Clapton. If it's true, uh, if any of you out there know anything about this, can help me authenticate it, that would be great. And uh, that's it. So, I mean, you don't meet a guy like that every day. That was great. That was awesome. <laughs> Hey, 
So what do you think? Is it Eric Clapton's amp? Yes. It's, I don't know. I'm, you know, I'm not doubting that it, it was part of his thing. It makes sense that he would have this sort of preamp thing, you know. That was his thing. That's how the records were made. For yeah. Him. And all of us want that. Is to have, you know get that little lamp sound, but magnify. Yeah, because that's really really kick ass for the early seventies, right? You can't, yeah, you can't get a big amp to do that. They, to go like ah, you know, wow. I give. Like, right. Yeah. Just dig in there. Yeah, it's pitch. Okay, so now you've seen the amp, you've heard it, you know, briefly, but you know, it's the nineteen sixty two Fender. Did it belong to Eric Clapton? Did it not belong to Eric Clapton? I don't know. If you guys can help me substantiate that, that would be great. Um, also, taking offers on the amp. Thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you again. This is Dr. Wyatt, signing off.